I have not laughed this much during a movie in a long time. During a new movie, I guess I should say, because like I'll, I will still laugh hysterically at classics like The Blues Brothers, Animal House, Dumb and Dumber, but a lot of like modern day comedies, I don't find as funny. Cocaine Bear, on the other hand, <laughs> I, I was laughing so much. And so was the entire theater. The theater was packed when I saw it. And the entire place was just uproarious with laughter. Now, I don't necessarily know if this was actually supposed to be funny, but <laughs> just the way things kind of went about, it was hysterical. Whether it's the bear itself doing a whole hell of a lot of cocaine. There's a lot of cocaine or two kids trying it, which sounds fucked up and it is kind of fucked up, but it's funny the way they go about it. But also there's bad dialogue, which it fits like the nature of the movie and it's fucking perfect. And a lot of the actors really go overboard and overact like big time, but it works. And I think that was the point, because this movie is very, very over the top. And it's completely helped by the actors being over the top, by the action being over the top, the horror being over the top. Just the entire movie is over the top. And it's awesome. I went into Cocaine Bear thinking this was going to be ridiculous well i mean it, it, it is totally ridiculous but i guess stupid i thought it was going to be stupid but it ended up being awesome this is also one of the if not the last role for the great ray liotta who he plays like a, a drug lord and it's an overall small part he appears in a couple of scenes at the end of the movie and then in the latter half uh, or probably la the last quarter of the movie, he appears a lot. But he absolutely kills it on screen. That man is going to be missed on the big screen. But whether it's Carrie Russell, or the actress that played the kids, or Jesse Tyler Ferguson of Modern Family fame, everyone is just funny as hell. And Elizabeth Banks, who directs the movie, uh, I think she probably would have been better than Carrie Russell in the role. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Carrie Russell did great, but uh, Elizabeth Banks directed the movie, and she did a fantastic fucking job. The special effects to create the bear were amazing. There were a few times where it's like, mm, this looks 100% fake, but you're so, like, engrossed in the hilarity of it all that it's really hard to notice. At the end of the day, is Cocaine Bear absolutely ridiculous? Oh, 100%. Like, it is totally ridiculous. Is Cocaine Bear a fantastic movie? I mean, in terms of fun, it is a fantastic fucking movie. <laughs> it's, you know what? No, it's just a fantastic movie, period. Cocaine Bear is great. The acting, even though it's over the top, it fits the style of the movie, and it is perfect for it. Elizabeth Banks' direction is great. The effects are great. The bear just brutally killing people is awesome. And it's also hysterical at the same time. I cannot believe Cocaine Bear was as good as it was. Honestly, I give Cocaine Bear an A. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.